how to block an application using an ASA firewall. I remember many many years ago that was the main problem. ASA firewalls great, however for a small office home office device, I mean ASA 5505, there was no way to make this ASA work as a UTM device, it means add all features that we really wanted like IPS, spam protection, AV and application recognition. Yeah, I know what you're going to say, well there were some options, yeah, but nothing that we really needed. Here we go, uh, a few years ago Cisco decided to release ASA 5506 with firepower. In this video I want to show you how easy it is to use this option to block an application of your choice. So I am connected to a test PC, I have a test virtual machine running over here and I want to block TeamViewer. Have you seen TeamViewer before? A very popular application for remote access. Uh, and maybe we want to block this application, I will show you. Uh, this li list is really really long, you can bl block VNC, RDP, torrent application, web browsers, WordPress and so on. But here the easiest one is to use TeamViewer because you can see now TeamViewer says I am ready to connect, it means TeamViewer has been connected and uh, can see a live connection to its servers. Now we will use ASA 5506, uh, create a policy and block TeamViewer. We go to configuration, ASA firepower configuration and here we want to create a new access control policy. You can see I have two or three policies in place, that's fine. And I think this one had TeamViewer, so I can just uh, apply it. But of course I'll show you what's inside. Here is my test policy. As you can see I have one rule only that says TeamViewer should be blocked. That's it. How can I add a new rule? You just click here, add rule and you will see a really really long list of applications that you can go for, I'll show you. RDP, Remote Desktop Protocol. VNC, a very popular remote application as well. What about Radmin, that I'm actually using at the moment? let's say torrent and so on. Yeah, you just say what you want to block or monitor and then click add to rule. Here, as you can see, I have team viewer. I say whatever, I don't really care. I just want to block it. Of course, you can be very specific. You can specify a source zone, destination, and source IP addresses, ports, uh, URLs, additional actions. Here I want to keep it as simple as possible. This is why I want to block TeamViewer only. We apply. As you can see, my ASA says, I am applying this policy at the moment. You have to give it a moment and we should be ready to test it. Here we go, the policy is up to date on this device. Let's check TeamViewer. Okay, it's doing something. Here we go, not ready. Please check your connection. Okay, TeamViewer says it cannot connect. Yes, our policy is up and running. 